The final chapter, chapter 13, Using Spies. Master Sun said, Whenever a hundred thousand troops are raised and sent on expedition a thousand trisons away, the expenditures of the common people and the contributions from public funds amount to a thousand pieces of gold per day. Inside and outside there is much turmoil. People exhaust themselves on the roads, and seven hundred thousand households cannot attend to their agricultural and other daily chores. The warring parties may face off for several years to contest for the victory of a single day. Yet there are those who, out of niggardliness for their rank and salary, are unwilling to spend a hundred pieces of gold on spies. This is the height of inhumanity. A general like this is not a general of the people, nor is he of assistance to his lord. And a lord like this is not destined for victory. Therefore, the reason the perspicacious lord and the wise general are victorious over others when they mobilize, and the reason their meritorious accomplishments exceed those of the masses, is their foreknowledge. Foreknowledge is something that cannot be gotten from ghosts and spirits, nor can it be obtained from interpreting the symbol of things, nor can it be acquired through astrological verification. Foreknowledge must be gained through people, specifically those who know the circumstances of the enemy. Therefore, there are five different types of spies that may be put to use. Those who have an excuse, inside agents, double agents, those who risk death, and those who escape with their lives. If these five types are employed simultaneously, the enemy will not be able to keep himself informed of their hidden ways. This is the so-called miraculous conduct of spies, the treasure of the ruler of men. Spies who have an excuse are drawn from the local people among the enemy. Inside agents are drawn from the officials of the enemy. Double agents are drawn from the agents of the enemy. Spies who risk death do so because we disseminate false information letting it be known to our agents who spread it to the enemy agents. Spies who escape with their lives are those who return to make a report. Therefore, among the affairs of the three armies, there is no one more intimate than the spy, no one who receives heavier rewards than the spy, and no one who is more secretive than the spy. Only the sage and wise know how to make use of spies. Only the humane and just know how to employ spies. Only the subtle and sensitive know how to extract genuine intelligence from spies. Subtle indeed. There is nowhere that one may not use spies, but if the plans based upon information provided by spies are divulged before they have been launched, then both the spy and those to whom he has told it will be killed. If there is an army I wish to strike, any city I wish to attack, any person I wish to kill, I must first know the names and surnames of the defending general, his trusted associates, the appointment secretary, the gatekeepers, his retainers, then order my spies to find out as much as they can about them. I must further seek out the enemy agents who come to spy on us, ply them with benefits, induce them to come over to our side, and then release them back to the enemy. Therefore, I will have gained double agents who are at my disposal. Consequently, I will know more about the enemy and will therefore be able to acquire spies who have an excuse, and inside agents whom I will be able to employ. Consequently, I will know still more about the enemy and will therefore be able to send spies who risk death to disseminate false information among the enemy. Consequently, I will know yet more about the enemy and will therefore be able to have my spies who escape with their lives return at the appointed time. The Lord must be well informed about the affairs of the five different kinds of agents, and his ability to be kept well informed necessarily depends upon double agents. Therefore, he cannot but give his double agents the heaviest rewards. Of old, when the Yin dynasty arose, it made use of Yi Zi, who had formerly served Zia. When the Zhu dynasty arose, it made use of Lu Ya who had formerly served the yen. Therefore, the perspicacious ruler and the wise general who can make those of high intelligence be their spies will certainly have great accomplishments. This is the essence of warfare, and it is that which the three armies depend upon in order to take action. End of the Art of War